Hey, what's up? I'm Nysis. Today we're going to be looking at the DJ Tech Tools mapping of the Dicer for Tractor Scratch Pro. So on the Dicer, we have three different modes. Uh, these three buttons select each one of those modes. The first one are cue points. And to select a cue point, you uh, can press any of the unlit buttons and it will turn each one of these into a, a cue point. To erase a cue point, you can hold this button and go in and delete each one of those cue points. If I start the record, I can set cue points on the fly. So. So the second button, your green button, is your looping button. Um, each one of these is a different value, beat mashing value, as you can see. And if we hold shift on this, we can then go in and set a loop. So eight loop, four loop, two loop, one, and half. And to kill it, again, shift and the lit button. So the third button is your effect button here. It uh, is a one press button. Each one of these is its own effect. It loads and sets the parameters and does everything for you. All you have to do is basically hold the button once it's there. So the first one, first one is your beat masher. Second one is your slicer. Third one's your LFO, your delay, and frozen delay. They're meant to be used in combination. So if you want to grab a very short loop with the beat masher, go into the slicer and then an LFO. You can do that. This menu button becomes a shift button, just like all the other ones. In this case, with the effects, it becomes a different set of parameters for each one of these effects. So the beat masher now gives you a different parameter that's loaded. Same with the slicer and LFO and delay. And these sound kind of cool together in a different way. So you can download the mapping for free at djtechtools.com. Uh, I'm Nysis. Thanks for watching.